Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And in this next video, what we got to do is take each of these expressions here and we have to write them as a power. So we're not going to evaluate them. We're just going to write them as a power. So notice that in part A, we have two times two times two times two times two. So we're multiplying two five times. So we can rewrite this here as two to the power of five. Now, because this is positive here, the brackets aren't super necessary, so you can also write 2 to the power of 5, but I'd recommend getting into the habit of using brackets because when you're dealing with negatives, then the negatives matter. So, for example, here we're multiplying negative 3 four times. This here, you would rewrite negative 3 in brackets to the power of 4. You wouldn't write negative 3 to the power of 4. This and this, they're actually different. We're going to cover that in a different video explaining why that is over here, but just know that when you're dealing with negatives, it's crucial that you are putting brackets with positives. It's not as necessary, right, because both of these are the same, but this and this are not the same. So just overall, I'd recommend getting into the habit of writing brackets, no matter what base for that uh, power expression you are working with. So over here, we got 1.12 times 1.12 times 1.12. So this also works if the base is a decimal. So this would be 1.12 to the power of three, like that. And then over here, we got negative two over three multiplied five times. So in this case, we'd have negative two over three to the power of five, like that, right? Putting it, putting the whole fraction in brackets. Okay, so when you run into something like this, highly recommend always using the brackets, even if you're working with positive values, just to get into that 